this one bucket can rule them all. The disaster bucket. It's crazy. It's powerful. And oh, oh no, I dropped it. I dropped. Oh no. I dropped it. Oh no. This is bad. <laughs> everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're going to be messing around with a very dangerous bucket. Yes, you heard me correctly, a bucket. This bucket can summon four huge natural disasters that can cripple your world in an instant or even burn it to the ground. This is a very dangerous item and when left in my hands, of course, destruction is bound to happen. So without further ado, let me show you the map that we are going to unleash this evil bucket on and it's a very, very nice looking map. I tweeted out a few moments ago which map you would like me to destroy with today's mod. Those of you got back to me, and most of you, well, a lot of you said something to do with castles. So here's your castle, but also here's your kingdom. Look at this. We've got a whole kingdom to destroy, which I think is going to be so damn fun, which we are going to do right now. So let's introduce ourselves to the mystical disaster bucket. And here it is right here. Disaster bucket encased in a special ender chest. And this is what we're going to use to destroy this whole kingdom. You can feel the power when you place it in your hand. Oh, it feels good. I'm looking forward to destroying this whole place. So, the way you use the disaster bucket is you literally just hold it anywhere and without highlighting a block, so just in open space, you right click and it will give you four different options. The first one is volcano, the second is meteorite, the third is earthquake, and the fourth is sinkhole. Now, each of these do correspond to a different natural disaster from the disaster bucket and they're all epic they're all awesome and they're all going to be beautiful to watch now the first one i think we're going to go with is the volcano now we just need to choose a location the mansion is to the left the farm and cliffside town is to the right where do we want to build a volcano let's go over here and build it over here let's build it right here in the middle of the pirate ship and the kingdom walls. So let's just place a right click right down here. So when you're hovering on a block, it will actually place the disaster. So be careful if you want to select a different one, just hold it in the air and right click. But if you right click on a block, it will spring it into action and it will start your natural disaster. Now this one's very unique. Oh my goodness, the Enderman was so annoyed right there. Did you see that? That was crazy. But um, yeah, this volcano is, I've started with on purpose because this is the one that takes the longest to build and it literally builds a volcano block by block from the ground up right in front of your eyes now it looks like it's already approaching the castle and kingdom walls which is a little bit annoying for us but it doesn't matter this volcano is going to be huge we can go to the other side of the kingdom to sort that out and put all of the other disasters there now a unique thing about the volcano you could probably see it already is the ores will spawn in the side so you've got some gold ore there you've got some iron over here we've got obsidian literally everywhere we've got um some more iron and gold down there i'm not sure if you can get like diamonds and stuff but gold is still pretty good and this is where all your lava is going to sit now we're gonna leave this and come back to it later on because it's gonna be so impressive but it's gonna take a long time to spawn in so let's go ahead and entertain ourselves with a brand new design oh, oh my goodness it's coming all the way into here this is crazy let's go and do another one and the next one is the meteorite now let's select a building that we want the meteorite to hit what should we do? Should we do this over here? These two big watchtowers right here seem to be great targets. Look at this amazing beach as well. It looks so awesome. Reminds me of Mario Kart for some reason. I think I have a problem. But anyway, let's spawn in the meteorite on the base of this tower so that we can see what it looks like properly. And here we go. A right click. The meteorite should spawn in any second. You should see it. There it is. Look at it. The smoke kind of comes down. And there we go. Oh, oh my goodness. That was huge. That was massive, and it took the whole top of this tower off. And oh, oh my goodness. It kind of went through the top of the tower and destroyed this building right here. This was not the building that we were aiming for. But look at this. The meteor should be in here. It's a massive ball of obsidian surrounded by a ball of lava. And this one is worth looking at as well because you will unearth ores which naturally spawn in the ground. There's blocks absolutely everywhere. Look at this. So many blocks. You will like uncover underground caves and mine shafts and stuff. But you also have nice amounts of ores in here. We've got gold and iron on the surface. We've got a gold block here which is cool. And if you dig below the surface you should find more ores. And there's also... 
the chance you can find a block of really cool ore. Now, I am right in the fire here, aren't I? This is not a good place to be, but you can find, like, blocks of diamonds. You can find blocks of pretty much anything in the middle, but of course, it's going to be very, very dangerous, and I don't think we're going to be able to find it. We might do another one at the end to see if we can find the goodies within, but there is, like, gold on the surface if you're a little bit scared of possibly burning alive. But anyway, let's move on to the next one, and the next one is going to be an earthquake. Now, we need to select a good space for this look at this random just line of dirt and stone that's just managed to survive let's go and check on how our volcano is going on oh it's smoking it's oh my goodness loads of smoke coming out the top stuff might start burning as well as the lava starts to kind of appear and you can see the walls of the volcano starting this whole place of the kingdom is literally destroyed this house is no more it's just a roof which is a little bit upsetting but here's the lava check this out come on let's spawn in the rest of the land it's burning up all the trees and it's pretty cool because it will self-contain the lava in this just apologies for all of the chunks not loading let's just go and load them in all of the ice is being burnt away. There's a massive hole down there for some reason. But look at this. This is so impressive. Now, we'll go and do the other two disasters and come back and look at this when it's fully done. It's going to be impressive. Right, then. Let's go and do an earthquake. Where shall we put the earthquake? Let's go and find someone. Um, let's see if we can find like, any pigs or any animals or anything. There should. I've seen like a few. Oh, here we go. I was going to say I've seen a few iron golems around, but these guys will do perfectly. It might lag a little bit as well. Because it's, oh, no. Th no. I need to protect this villager. The fire did it for me. So, yeah, it might lag a little bit because there's so much going on. But here we go. Here's an earthquake. Let's right click. And in it comes. It will slowly burn away the blocks and be kept. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The villager is going down. The villager is going down. It would be really cool if it kind of rumbled the screen at the same time. That would be really cool. The other villagers ran off and left this guy to die and go into the volcano. That's so mean. Look at this guy. He's slowly, slowly descending into the earthquake. I think I said volcano right now. I meant earthquake. And oh, there's a dog here as well. How random. Sorry to completely disrupt your evening, but um, there's an earthquake through here. And look at this. It's so crazy. The earthquake has come all the way through here, ripped through the land. It does spawn in obsidian, which is kind of handy as well. And we've picked up some junk here. Get out of here. Get out of here. We just want the disaster bucket. And you can see how big this earthquake can get. I think this is a relatively small one, actually. So we'll spawn another one in later. How is this guy doing down here? Is he okay? He needs to find his way out. That's a little bit upsetting. But let's move on to our final natural disaster, which is the sinkhole. Now, this one will be perfect. It would have been perfect for that round building, but we kind of got rid of that already. Look at this. It's just disaster all around. The disaster bucket has definitely lived up to his name. Should we do it on the castle? Let's do it on the castle. Let's put it right in the middle of the castle. Let's plop it right here. So this is the sinkhole. It will go into action very, very quickly as sinkholes do appear very, very quickly. It's eaten our ender chest. It will spawn in obsidian. Oh, it's, it's working really fast. Look how fast that reacted. It's finished already. Look at this. A massive hole right in the middle of the castle. You guys said you wanted castles, and I delivered the castle. So this can be kind of handy in unveiling ores and stuff. But still, very destructive, and you do not want to see any of these spawning near your base, do you? Let's try another one down the back so I can show you it again. Oh, look. Lots of people we can test this on. This zombie right here is having a birthday party. So let's ruin it. Here we go. Sinkhole in the middle of the birthday table. Looks like the carpet... Has the carpet survived? Oh, no. It's gone. It's gone. It's just lagging a little bit. There we go. The skeleton's gone down. The creeper... Oh, you survived. We're going to have to help you out here. See you later, buddy. There we go. And the sinkhole has been created. This works very quickly. So quickly that the chunks can't even keep up with it. Oh, no. There's another villager down here. Be careful, buddy. There's lava at the bottom, okay? Just stay still and you'll be fine. Wow, look, there's lava in the middle that's kind of raining down. It's a very dangerous item. Very dangerous indeed. And we've got almost no castle left. How upsetting. How are we getting on with our volcano? This is literally taking over the whole side of the kingdom. We spawned it on one little piece of path. Now it's taken over the whole path all the way over to here. Look, there's obsidian all the way around there as well. I'm not sure if it's going to approach the, um, the sea too much. But look at this. It's kind of affected the sea floor got loads of obsidian under there in the mix of all the stone and stuff and look at this i think this has fully formed a huge volcano 
so ridiculous. It's just huge. It will look amazing at night, which we might be able to see in a bit. Because it's just going to be a massive... Oh! What are you doing? I think it just erupted. That was that was a bit scary. I think it's kind of telling you, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done being a volcano now. I am now just going to sit here in your world and sprout lava. There we go. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's so cool. Right then. Let's do um, a couple more. Let's just do one more sinkhole. And I think I want to use it on one of these boats. So let's put a sinkhole on this boat and then an earthquake on the other one. So a sinkhole is going to appear right now. Uh, let's just select it. Sinkhole. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> that looks so funny. Oh, it's right in the middle of the boat. It's really narrow, this one. Look at this. Oh, it's taking the whole thing. Yep, it is taking the whole thing. Oh, there's a nether portal down there. Who knew? There's a nether portal right down here. That's so awesome. But look. Oh, this this has gone ham. Look how many... Look how big this sinkhole is. It's taken all the water with it. It can't keep up. Let's wait till the chunks update. Yeah, that's a serious sinkhole. It looks like they can all vary in size quite a bit. But look at this. So incredible. It's gone so far down. There's a boat at the bottom. So random. Baby zombies. Oh, wow. That is huge. That is easily the biggest one so far. And now all that's left to do is place an earthquake in the middle of here. This is still exploding left, right, and center. So the final thing is an earthquake right here. Let's do it. An earthquake right in the middle of the boat. See what happens. They can all vary in size, all vary in power, and they can all naturally spawn at any moment in time. So you need to be very careful where you place your base and look out for the warning signs as well. So look at this. It's eating away this boat block by block. It's steaming a little bit. I think this one will explode every now and then as well, which is really cool to cause even more destruction below. And yeah, here we go. It's eating away all the cannons, all the side. This boat is going to sink very very quickly isn't it it's good oh it's disappearing very quickly look at this we've eaten the whole middle of it with one earthquake oh it's still going as well look this one is much bigger than the one before it's not as good at tearing out the water as the sinkhole is over here but let's have one fly around and see what we did we spawned a volcano in the side we did a massive sinkhole there that's so big look at the size comparison i'm up in the air and that is the craziest sinkhole I've ever seen. We've got the earthquake that's just ripped through this pirate ship. And, oh, stop spurting stuff. You're interrupting my commentary. Come on. And what's the final thing we did? We had the meteorite and the second earthquake as well. Let's go and have a look at that. Oh, where's that circle building that got destroyed? It's right here. It looks fine from the front, apart from a few missing woolen blocks. But when we go into the middle, you will see that there's literally, you know, nothing there. Oh my goodness, the hole that this has created is so huge. Wow, that is incredible. And the earthquake is around the corner there. So that is the disaster bucket mod or the natural disasters mod, whichever you would like to call it. And it's so fun. I'm really liking these destruction mods recently. So if you did enjoy this mod and the map as well, you can find a link for both in the description below and you can recreate or do even better than me at destroying this map. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if if you did enjoy the video, then a like would be greatly appreciated too. I can't believe the destruction this one single bucket of caused. Look at this bucket. Look at it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching again, guys. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.